Hey, beautiful people, the Most High God, all praises to the Most High. So, the Most High wants me to tell you that those who sold their souls for what belongs to others are under judgment. So, oh, I can't even believe that people do this, but this is what God wants me to let you know. There have been people out here. You know, we always hear that there's people who sell their soul for money. There's people who sell their soul for fame. There's people who sell their soul for, you know. But there have been people out here who have been selling their souls for what belongs to another. They've been selling their souls for people's destinies. They've been selling their souls for people's virtues. They've been selling their souls for people's spiritual gifts. They've been selling their souls for people's identity. Can you imagine that? So this is what God wants me to tell you. Like There has been people who have sold their souls for other people's inheritance. There have been pe people who have sold their souls for people's birthright and people's glory. Some of them have been in your own family and your friends and your community and people you grew up with. There have been some people who have been so envious and jealous of how God blessed you. They have sold their own souls, not to, for what belongs to another. And these people who have sold their souls for other people's destinies, for other people's spiritual gifts, for other people's blessings. Yes, people have been selling their soul for other people's blessings, their abilities, their talents, their destinies. And this is what God wants you to know. Not only do have people sold their soul for fame for fortunes which that's a person selling it for their own material gain but you have people who are so envious and jealous they sold their soul for something that they saw you with from to take it from you for your gifts yes we hear there's people who sell their souls and then they're required you know to sacrifice somebody right but no these people sold their souls for what was yours and some people sold their souls to have you de to, to have you put to death can you imagine that can you imagine that that there's th th that this is what god wants me to tell you people have souls their souls for other people's destinies other people's marriages other people's glories other people's talents other people's favor other people's beauty for another they didn't just sell their soul and say oh i'm there for whatever they did it entirely for what another person has there they sold their soul for actually that and sent spirits to and then when they sold their soul for that person's whatever material goods their wealth their riches their fortunes that that spirits came after that person and attacked every attacked them because of that person sold their soul for that thing that belonged to them and made the innocent person who God ordained that for go through and suffer a lot of things in their life that they didn't have to go through because that person sold their soul for what they had and had all kinds of spirits coming after that person without cause because that is what it was ordained for that person. It's not ordained for the person who is envious and jealous of them and sold their soul to get what belongs to them. They have their own destiny. They, they, you have, they, they sold their soul for people's fortune and fame and their wealth, their inheritance, their, for their possessions, for their marriages, for their positions, for their promotions, for their careers, for their favor, for their beauty. People have sold their soul for what they saw another with to take it from them. Not on their own recognizance to say they sold their soul for whatever, whatever. No, only for what someone else had. And these people who sold their souls for what belongs to others are under judgment. And God's taking away everything from them that they sold their souls for what belongs to another. And everything that they manifested and gained from what belonged to another that they sold their souls for. There are people out here who stole their souls sold their souls for people's whole identity their virtue their persona their whole their life people 
and these people are going through severe judgment and um i know this is very disturbing it's even disturbing to me that people even think like that that they would sell their soul for what they see another has you know because everybody's made unique and great with their own abilities and gifts and their own destiny to walk on their path you know it's very it's strange to me that is strange behavior you know that's self-hate at its finest but beautiful people i i don't want to prolong the message too long it's those who sold their souls for what belongs to others others possessions others belongings others birthright but others inheritance these people are under judgment stay blessed beautiful people